Hi, I'm Kelsey, and today I'm going to make a classic ambrosia salad. So to start out, I'm going to whip some heavy whipping cream. Um, I'm just going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm going to whip this to about a soft peak before I start to add my powdered sugar. All right, at this point I have sifted powdered sugar. Just sift it to get out all the lumps and you'll get um, more of a smooth whipped cream. And I'm gonna bring this to a medium peak. Now this is just about perfect. And I'm just going to scrape down the bowl and get the excess powdered sugar incorporated. And then, what I have here is sour cream. Now there are many different ways to make ambrosia salad, but this is kind of a combination of all of the classic ambrosias that I found. Um, I have about a cup of sour cream, and I'm gonna fold in my whipped cream. Now it seems like a half a cup of powdered sugar may be a lot in this recipe, but the sour cream is really tangy, so you want that extra sweetness in the whipped cream. And once that's folded in, I'm just going to add the remaining one cup of my sour cream. I just like to do it in stages. So I have fresh pineapple that I've cut and cored. And I'm going to fold that in to my mixture. I have two bananas. You want to slice your bananas at the very last minute because they start to oxidize very quickly. And this is the best part. This is what makes it amazing. We have flaked coconut and you'll see it in the package as fancy flaked coconut. Love the word fancy. And as well as mini marshmallows. Now after you assemble this salad, if you just let it sit for about an hour in the refrigerator to chill, the marshmallows will absorb a lot of the liquid and become very soft. Alright, last but not least, um, instead of canned mandarin oranges, I'm actually using whole navel oranges, um, but of course you can use mandarin oranges. And I'm supreming them. And the reason why I'm doing this, I'll show you how to do it. First you want to cut yourself a base to stabilize the orange. Um, you could just peel an orange and use segments, but you're going to get some of that membrane and some of the pith. And I don't think that's very pleasant to bite into in a fruit salad. So I'm just taking off all of the peel. This one has kind of a thick peel, so you can go around and get the rest of the pith. Alright, and then once your orange is free of the white, and I'm just going to cut off the top here, then all you do is you go in between the segments and you can see, just follow along, you have a guideline, and cut out the individual segments. And this way, really you're taking off all of, like I said, that membrane and the pith and it just looks a lot nicer. So I'm just going to continue to do this, and after I get all of the segments out, I'm going to cut them in half, and then I'm going to fold it into my salad. All right, so finish supreming. I have a total of two oranges. I'm going to fold that in. And I have a little bit extra flake coconut that I'm just going to go along the outside. Some marshmallows in the middle.
as well as pineapple rings. Um, I just reserved some of the pineapple and cut it into rings instead of into little segments. I'm going to end with three pineapple rings. And just to add, um, to gild the lily here, I have some maraschino cherries. I think that does it. There you have a classic ambrosia salad.